this is going to get me a lot of heat. Hey guys, I'm John, host of Video Games in the World. Now, just last night, the new Sing City anime by Netflix has just been uploaded, and judging by the upvotes and downvotes, not too many people are happy with these changes that arrived. I have been watching the original anime since I was 10 years old, living in the Dominican Republic, and I still love watching it from time to time. And just now on Netflix, I'm watching The Lost Canvas. I've seen the movies, including Legend of Sanctuary. The only movie of Sincere that I hated was The Heaven Chapter. Now, a lot, I understand a lot of people hate reboots and remakes. In my opinion, many reboots and remakes were stupid because of lack of story, trying too hard, and also race swapping and gender swapping to to appease the politically correct audiences. But also, in my opinion, there were some reboots that did a very good job. Now, I admit that there are some flaws in the Saint Seiya, and these are the following. One, Shun is turned into a female. I didn't like it. Before you start jumping the gun, I am not a sexist. For the record, I'm all for strong female characters, but Shun should have remained a male. Two, the military chopper's attacking. That is something that I don't understand right now. Because I do not recall Seiya and the Bronze Saints fighting against the military. But when the show premieres, we might just have an explanation. 3. Although the action sequences look pretty cool, the animation at least could have been better. Number 4. They changed Saori's name into Sienna. Sienna? That reminds me of that nightmarish... The ick dub 15 years ago. Oh, brother. And I like to think that the DIC dub from Cartoon Network never existed. I hated it. It sucked. But the ADV dub did, did great, at least in sticking to the violence and all the cool stuff. Okay. The original anime and manga had strong women, while the main heroes were all male. Strong women in Saint Seiya were Ego Marin, Ophiaka Shina, Chameleon June, and Mermaid Thetis from the Poseidon arc. Now, Ego Marin was the mentor of Seiya. Chameleon June, who was most likely the possible love interest of Andromeda, uh, and she was a student of Andromeda's mentor, Albiore. Not to mention that in Legend of Sanctuary, Scorpio Milo, who was originally a male, was turned into a female and many, found, and many fans found it very weird. Now, I don't mind if you think that this is relatable or not, but you should know that the other Netflix series, Voltron Legendary Defender, didn't exactly inherit what his what original 1980s counterpart used in the first two seasons. For example, they made Keith the Red Paladin, Lance the Blue Paladin, and Shiro and Sven the Black Paladin, rather than in Defender of the Universe, where it was Keith as Black Lion, Lance as Red Lion, and Shiro, Sven, as he was called in the original, as a Blue Lion pilot, before Allura inherited that role, like she did in Legendary Defender Season 3. Keith with Gara Heritage, number two, that is, instead of Altaian like in the 80 series. 3. Pidge as a female character instead of a male one, and it's an earthling with a family and not a citizen planet Balto with only one brother and no parents. 4. The writers of Legendary Defender announced that one of the characters would be gay, and that character turned out to be none other than Shiro himself, as you see in a flashback in Season 7, that he had a boyfriend called Adam. Not too many people liked it, but some people did. So despite those changes, the Voltron Netflix series did a pretty good job as its predecessor or did, if not better. And to be honest with you, I loved it when I started watching it. Now, a lot of people hate the gender swapping of orig original characters and get pissed off when male characters are changed into female. I understand that. I agree that a brand new character should be created. A character that can charm us and win us over. Of course, as they say with this kind of thing, get woke. Go broke. I know this won't relate to Saint Seiya, but do you guys remember the 2004 remake of Battlestar Galactica? In this remake, 
the character of Starbuck was reimagined as a female. Many fans of the original show found it weird, but in the end, she was a very much loved character. Like the original, who was a male. And that was we too long before the stay woke term ever even existed. Now, for the record, I am not one of the woke people, and I sure as heck not am not an SJW or NPC as they are called now. But you know what, bro? When this anime comes out, I might just give it a chance like I did Voltron. According to the writer Eugene Sun, they decided against creating a new female character and having her join up with the Bronze Knights because they were talented enough to write a female character who couldn't be shoehorned into the group. That's not an exaggeration. So they wanted to gender swap Andromeda. <sighs> no wonder so many people are pissed. But, you know, as much as I disagree with it, I'm not going to bitch and moan and make, make a big deal about it. You know what I'm saying? So to conclude with this, even though I disagree with turning Andromeda Shun into a female, I might just give this a chance and then judge if this remake is any good or not. But still, they could have just created a brand new character rather than gender swapping a character. That's all I gotta say. This is John, host of Video Games in the World. Have a good one. Bye-bye.